Hello YouTube, Adam here. So today we are going to learn about commands and features in Subbot API. In this video you will learn what are commands, what are features, how can we make our own commands. Then we will make an urban dictionary service inside WhatsApp. And finally I will give you a simple exercise that you can do yourself. If you haven't seen the previous video where we set up Subbot for development, the link is in the description below. Now before starting with the boring theory, I will show you what we are going to make today. We are making an urban dictionary service. What that means is that we will be able to use urban dictionary that we all know and love inside WhatsApp itself. Let me show you. When we use the ud command, it will show us the meaning of that word. Now that we are all excited, let's get started. Command Command are the function that can be called by a client. What that means is, client can use the command to tell the bot what to do. Like you can see here. By using the solve command, I am telling the bot to use the solve function. What the bot does is, it reads the text sent by the client, checks if it is a command and then uses the command function, specified by the client along with its parameters. The format to call a command is like this. First the command prefix is written, then the keyword of the command, and then the argument needed by the command with spaces between them. If the client would like to pass a string with spaces as a single argument, they can do so using inverted commas. Now we know what command is, but how do we create it in the code? That is pretty simple. All we have to do is create a class and extend it with command class, and then implement all its abstract methods and constructor. The constructor of command takes three arguments. First is the keyword of the command you want to make. So in case of solve command, it was solve. Second is the number of arguments you want the client to pass. If you want it to be of variable length, just write minus one here. Third is the minimum role of the client to use the command. So the client will only be able to use the command if their role is above or equal to the specified one. Compute method is where the real deal happens. This is the method which is executed when a client calls the command. Here we get the client who called the command as a parameter and also the argument they passed. And we have to use those and return a response string that will be sent in the WhatsApp group. Get helper method is used when the client uses help command, which explains them how the command you are making should work. The method should return a helper object whose constructor takes template of the command, an example of the command, and description of the command. Feature a feature encapsulates many commands into one group. What that means is, feature acts as a group for many different commands. For example, if we want to make voting in our bot, there will be commands like start vote, vote, end vote, show vote results. So we can group all these commands into one group called voting. This is what feature is. So the solve command we just saw belongs to the math feature. The process to create a feature is pretty straightforward. You just have to create a class, extend it with feature, and implement its abstract methods and constructor. The constructor takes just two arguments. First is the feature name, and second is the array of command it has. So to add your own command to the board, you will have to first create the command, then create the feature and put the command in its constructor parameter. Then finally add the feature to the board using bot.getFeatureManager.add function in the addThingsInBot method in the main class. If all this is sounding very confusing, don't worry, you'll understand everything when we make our own command. So you might be thinking, how we will make our own urban dictionary? Actually, we will be using REST API of urban dictionary, which gives us a decent response of the word we want to search. Like if we do a GET request with the term parameter as the word we want to search, it gives us a JSON response with the definition of the word. So let's start programming. First we create a package for the urban dictionary to keep our code clean. Then we create a class for the command and we name it ud command. We extend it with command and implement its abstract methods and constructor. As we won't be needing these parameters, I'll just erase it. We'll keep the keyword for the command ud. Number of arguments will be 1. 
and the minimum role will be member. So just the clients who are not registered won't be able to use this command. We will return the argument as the result. So it will just copy and set it back. And we will return an empty helper instead of null here. We will come back here and code it. But for now we will just keep it like this. Now let's create a class for the feature. We will name it urban dictionary feature. And extend it with feature. And implement its abstract methods and constructor. Same as before, we will remove the parameter as we won't need it. We will keep the name of the feature urban dictionary and we will put our ud command object in an array here. And the get description will just return a string explaining the feature. We will then add this feature to the bot. And it's done. Let's run the bot and see if the UD command works. As you can see it says feature is not added in the group so as we did in the last video we will use the console command to add it now let's try it again as expected it returns the argument we passed nice now that we have our new command running, let's write the code that sends the request to the Urban Dictionary API and returns the JSON as a result. So to test our code, I'll just comment out the main we have right now and create a new one. We will use Apache HTTP Client API to send request and return response. This library is already inside the lib folder we added in the project in the last video. So we won't have to add any new library. And now we'll just paste the link of the REST API we want to use and let's try running it. We should get a JSON string. And here we go, just as expected. And here is the definition, which is inside a list. So in order to get the definition, we'll need to put this into a string and pass it into a JSON object. We'll be using JSON API to parse the JSON string and retrieve the definition. Again, this API is already in the lib, so no need to add any new library. And now let's print the definition and see if it works. It does! Awesome!
Now let's cut the code from here and paste it in the UD command class. The word to be searched will be the first argument. So we'll replace the TIL we just wrote with that. And instead of printing the result, we'll return it. And in case an exception occurs, let's return an error message. Now let's just fill the helper class. Oh, and the client variable name is already defined, so we'll just change it to XCTP client. Now let's run and see if it works. Awesome, it does. Now let's try some other terms. Ooh, the bot crashed. That's because the term we search has spaces. And XADP client doesn't like spaces. So we'll just replace the spaces with percentage 20. Now let's test it again. And now the term works. But what if we put a term that doesn't have a meaning? The bot crashed again. That's because we told it to get the first definition in the list. But as the list is empty, it gives index out of bounds exception. Let's see what does the API return when we put a term like that. As you can see, it says the result type is no result. So you can simply check the result type in the code. If it is equal to no result, we will return an error statement telling that the word doesn't exist. As the thread was getting crashed when we were getting an exception, let's just change this IO exception to exception so that it doesn't crash the thread. Now let's run and see if it works.
and it does awesome the urban dictionary command has been made now that you know how to make commands and features using subbot api i'll give you two simple exercises to try out first add more info to the ud command result like this second create tell a joke command which sends a random joke when it is called no need to create database stuff for this just hard code the jokes database topic is for another day you can download the source of the tutorial in the description which you can use to do the exercise if you don't want to rewrite all the code in this video if you are unable to do the exercise you can ping me on discord or just comment below i'll try to help you out you can even download the solution for the source in the description So this is it for this video. In the next one, we will see how to create database in Subbot. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the upcoming episodes. And press the bell icon if you want to get notified as soon as the next video is out. See you guys later.